I am on my way home. I just finished a tree job. I am completely covered in sawdust from my hair down to my socks. And it was awesome. So I got the tree job done in probably about three hours. And God is good. He lined up five estimates in three days. And within those estimates, I had thousands of dollars worth of work. And he's supplying a need. And God is good. And I talked in the last video about being a millionaire and what it would take and diligence. But I just want to talk today on why have diligence and what are we having diligence for. So let's talk about that. So I did this job and I wore myself out and I was all over the tree and it was awesome, but I did it for my family. I didn't do it to get a name. I didn't do it to get rich. I did it because there's a need. There's a reason why I work. It's not to be rich. If you love silver, you're not going to be satisfied with it. If you're chasing after money, it'll grow wings and it'll fly away. With food and raiment, let us be content. Be satisfied with the things that we have. In Ecclesiastes, it talks about what to work for. He said, if you're alone, you're working for yourself. If you're married, if you have a family, then you have something to work for because life is full of labor. When it comes to diligence, that's what it's about. What is your why? What are you working for? I'm working for my family. I'm working to please the Lord. I'm looking to glorify God in everything that I do. Not just in maybe a church program or, or serving in a church somewhere, but in every aspect of my life, I want to give glory to God. Our diligence and what we should be focused on and pay attention to and work hard should not just be to make money. And it shouldn't just be in our business, but it should be balanced in everything in our life. When it comes to serving God, find a place in your local church that you can serve. Whatever it is, find something where you can be diligent to serve the Lord. God makes it very clear that we should not be chasing after money. So what are we working for? We're working to please God with our lives in every aspect of it. Whether it's church and ministry, family, business, our relations with strangers. You've heard the phrase, the jack of all trades and master of none. If you try to master one thing, if you try to master being the best parent or the best businessman and you're chasing after the millions then you're gonna neglect one of those other categories just food for thought today i know i'm filthy i'm dirty but i'm excited because god is providing and i can see god working and i'm working not for myself but for others for the end game so what are you working for evaluate every aspect of your life whether it's interaction with strangers interaction at your job your business, your side hustle, your family, God, serving God. A lot of times we can waste time. We can waste our life away with things that don't matter. And we can neglect our family. We can neglect our business. We can neglect God. Make sure you're being diligent. Man, this is good. I'm excited. And I just want to share that with you. So the footage from today, if you like this video or anything that I give out, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and follow for more content. Here's a little bit from that video from today.